it's Nay from Seraph Night Games here with Mishka, aka Sarah, the creator of Wayhaven Chronicles. Here's our first Q&A video. Mishka will be answering asks at more length and in more depth than she gets to the chance to on Tumblr. So let's dive right in. How is your cup of tea this morning, Mishka? Very nice. Very hot. Good. good. Yes, you like it lava. How is little boy Silver? He's very nice. He's over there, having a sleep, trying to ignore us. Yes, he's trying his best. He doesn't like company too much, does he? Not really. Um, right, so shall we jump straight in with the first ask? Let's do it. Um, I, I apologise if I'm pronouncing anybody's usernames incorrectly. I will do my best. Um, so first one we have up today is jpriest85 blog has asked i'm curious how the story might have differed if rook was what the one who survived and eventually became unit bravo's handler instead of rebecca how the different members of unit bravo would have gotten along with him would rook also have kept the agency and supernatural secrets from the detective and possibly even raising the detective as a grieving single parent if i can get my teeth in um well rook definitely would have told uh, the MC about the supernatural for sure even if he'd survived and Rebecca had he would have made sure that um, the MC would have known about it as soon as they were uh, sort of able um, if Rebecca had died the thing is with Rook and Rebecca was that they were so it was like soulmate stuff again so everyone loves a soulmate <laughs> yeah so it would have been uh, I think Rook would have changed um, he wouldn't have been quite as carefree as he was when he was alive. Um, but he still would would have done his best for the MC and probably would have been a more sort of um, a parent who would have been there in the MC's life rather than what Rebecca did and kind of pulled away. Um, but the story would have differed hugely, absolutely hugely, but I can't <laughs> say why because of spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> but um, there, yeah... It, there would have been the the story arc might have stayed the same now I think about it, but there would have been there would have been some massive changes. <laughs> mm. Interesting. Um hopefully that answered your ask. Um so the next one, Anonymous has asked, if you could meet any one of your characters, who would you get along with the most? Uh who would I get along with? I'd uh I'd, um, I'd say I want to say Nate, but I don't know if I could be that, like... I, he's so, like... Delightful. He is, yeah. <laughs> and But they're, like... Probably not any unit Bravo, to be honest. They're so, like, major archetypes of their personalities that they're so sort of OTT of what they are. Probably someone more real, like, like Verda or Elidor or something. <gasps> yeah someone who's more sort of like you know a bit calmer and sort of like maybe doesn't sort of you know go out that much sort of I'm not in. sure I could I'm not sure I'd get along hugely with Verdi he I feel like he maybe irons the the, oh, he does, the he lines does. Yeah, down yeah. his trousers yeah. a bit too in, much in the story there's some things about how it's very sort of like I don't remember the last time I ironed something yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> but Elidor seems pretty cool what about you me um I don't know. Who would I get along with the most? I don't know. I I mean, I would like to meet um, Felix Farah because they, like, yeah. my baby. <laughs> but I don't know that I'd get along with... They are so hyper. Yeah. I'm not sure I could keep up that level of enthusiasm 24 hours a day. But you get along with lots of different types of personalities. I do, though, yeah. Don't you? So, yeah. But maybe Tina. I think me and yeah. Tina would probably jam pretty... Yeah. Pretty well. well, I'd like to think. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Probably Douglas. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so the next one. Um, Anonymous, again, has asked, um, Hello, Sarah. I hope that the start of 2021 has been kind to you so far. I'm curious now, after seeing all the lucky people get matched up with Falk, um, but could you share some tidbits with us about what he'd be like in a relationship? Mm, uh, well, I hope you're having a good start to the year as well. Um, folk in a relationship. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We've all thought it. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, he's not really, it's probably not something he thought of. Kind of like Adam Ava. Probably not something he's thought of forever. It's just not, he's so focused on 
protecting his sort of family and his people that having something for himself like that is not really something that he's thought of so it would be a very big switch for him like he was pretty smooth when he was flirting and he wanted it mm-hmm. but in an actual <laughs> relationship i'm not i think he would be a bit sort of like not quite as smooth all the time um and he would just he'd not be overly romantic <sighs> Probably not the best partner to begin with, but then as he sort of once like... Once he finds his groove. Yeah, once he finds, once he finds his way and he, he realises that his partner really sort of trusted him and was in love with him and things and he could relax into it. Probably incredibly trusting and very, very strong bond, um, but not overly romantic, like obviously. Obviously romantic. Yeah. Mm. Well, hopefully that's answered all of our questions <laughs> um so next one anonymous again has asked um hi i have a question regarding a's route um and just a quick um reminder um in um the wayhaven chronicles we've got lots of abbreviations um so i will put the abbreviations in the notes section of this video if you ever want to look um but a is generally adam ava um and i'll try and um and speak like tell you what they are um without abbreviating but if you need to that i'll put them in the notes section um so i have a question regarding a's route and i don't know whether someone has already asked this before but how do you think a would react if they heard the detective wanted went on a date with someone other than them obviously uh oh okay um this oh this is hard to answer because it's kind (laughs) of kind of touches on things in book three which you'll actually get to play in the next demo. <gasps> um, Exciting. But it's it's um, it's to do with if you remember that kiss with Bobby. Yeah. Oh, we all remember. Yeah. Well, you know, if you did it, you might get a bit of an idea on how they'd react there. Oh my goodness. Um, I think if it was a proper date with someone and not Bobby, because Bobby's a little bit different anyway. But I think <laughs> if it was someone proper that they were going on a date with, um, I think. I think they would, on the outside, I think they would project that they were happy for them and that it was the right thing to do and that, you know, the detective should be going off and dating other people and should be doing that and finding their happiness and things like this. But on the inside, they'd be crushed. (gasps) Repression! (laughs) Yeah. It would be very, um, it would be, it would be really hard for them to see, um, but they would try to be happy for the detective and try to convince themselves that it was the right thing but i can't imagine that they would be overly friendly to whoever it was that was <laughs> dating the main character um cool okay so the next one um anonymous has asked um at this stage of their relationship would m be upset if the mc was seeing or dating other people uh so it's kind of similar again um Oh, th- again, it touches on the book three thing. Oh, if you're a bit of if, spoiler. If you took Bobby's route and you kissed them, you might get an idea. Especially if you stay angry at at M after the bakery oh. scene. Oh, well, I have to do some yeah. more playthroughs. There is there is <laughs> a particular scene I've written, and oh, it was crushing. It was. Oh my uh, goodness! It's the first time M has really shown any kind of real feeling towards that or or ever experience that kind of emotion of why am i upset about this person doing something else with someone else like they've never had that but there is a particular scene that if bobby if you kiss bobby and you're dating mason then and you stay angry at him after the the after the bakery scene that there is yeah that bakery scene i'm gonna have to do another playthrough because Um, i must admit when I played the M route, yeah. I was very worried. Heat's a bit too, I don't know, sweaty for me. <laughs> so I get, I get a bit nervous when I play Mason, uh, but um, I might have to go and do another playthrough. <laughs> it was, um, <laughs> yeah, but he would be upset, but I, um, sorry, they would be upset, but I think they wouldn't really know why, mm. you know? That's sometimes the best. <laughs> um, Okay, so next on the list we have um, Anonymous again has asked, um, hey Sarah, can you rate the RO for who's the best to worst to watch movies or shows with? 
Uh, okay, so my instinct was the best person to watch it with is Felix Farah. And they probably are the best one because they haven't seen many movies or shows. So they'd be really enthusiastic about it, but they would be constantly talking through it. So it depends on if you're happy to be with someone who constantly <laughs> Or if you just shows. want one of those people just like, just watch it. Yeah, find out. <laughs> yeah. So if you're happy to have someone who's like really enthusiastic and just wants to know everything and, you know, does all the gasping and like, oh my God, what's going on kind of thing, then Felix, and F- Felix Farah is is the best one to watch it with i'd say the worst is probably adam ava because it would just be constant like oh well that's not accurate or oh well you know they wouldn't really do that or please just suspend uh, reality for 40 minutes yeah like you know movies and shows are fun just enjoy it for what it is you know like (laughs) just let it go for a minute but they just wouldn't be able to let it go so probably not the best but um mason morgan would be pretty quiet they're not overly keen on it because of their hyper senses mm. so you'd have to watch it with like the subtitles on and on like really low maybe they volume. should get some like pl- blue light glasses yeah would be the hearing as well oh, I suppose, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. um to have but, the subtitles on yeah but they'd be pretty <laughs> um pretty quiet throughout it mm. uh, but not overly enthused about what's going on nate nat mm, I, don't, I don't know like, i feel like i feel like nate nat would show enthusiasm for you yeah for the for the mc but it's not their favorite form of taking in stories mm. they're much more of a book less of a tech person mm. more of a slowly reading it so it's and kind of digesting a, it. or the book was better yeah of. oh yeah totally <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah fab okay so another anonymous uh person has asked what did the detective think Rebecca's job was before they found out about the agency? Which is a really good question because I had never even thought about that before. Um, it's kind of hinted at in book one when you first meet Rebecca and the main character says about... They obviously know that they uh, that Rebecca works for a shadowy government agency mm. but, that, but has never been specific about what it is mm-hmm. sort of that she does. Um, so I kind of left that up to headcanon for people's particular main character about what they thought it was. Yeah. Um, like one of my detectives, one of my sort of playtest detectives thinks that Rebecca was just like an office job mm-hmm. and was just trying to make it seem like more than <laughs> it was. She was well fancy. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, whereas I've got another um, playtest detective who thinks Rebecca is like a spy and things like that. <laughs> and sort of, and then I've got other playtest detectives who didn't really care about much what mm. she did. or It was just a job that took yeah. her away from them. Mm. Um, and that was, you know, so they kind of blame the job yeah. for Rebecca, yeah. for Rebecca's absence. So they didn't care what she did kind of thing. So I've mm. kind of left it open to what, people think their bit. sort of main character would mm. think but they definitely know that she works for some government mm. agency kind yeah. of um cool okay so next one again anonymously has asked i'm asking this for purely scientific purposes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um you said in a deeper relationship M would play with the mc's hair but what about the others um i think nate nat would um, less ab- absent-mindedly than Mason Morgan would. Mm. Um, M would do it sort of like without really realizing it. Mm. Whereas, um, Nate Nat would do it more purposely. Yeah, you know, like, oh, this is the person I love. I want to be near them. Yeah. I like, you know, uh, Felix Farah. Uh, I don't think so, unless the main character specifically asked. Felix Farah is more sort of um, like, uh, sort of like hand on a leg or mm-hmm. sort of held hands or hand around a waist or yeah. properly slid up together like um you know those couples who are just like draped over each other yeah. they're more sort of <laughs> like that more sort of like really obvious sort yeah. of like ways of connecting adam ava again i don't uh, to start with i don't think so because um i think they've not really been in relationships especially not to this intensity mm. where they're really in love with someone um and it would take them a while to get used to how to act yeah and to 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 feel comfortable mm. um and sort of not trusting i think they trust the main character already yeah. very much it's that opening up and yeah. willi- like willingly Relax yeah a little bit letting letting themselves be themselves mm-hmm around the main character and also feeling confident enough that the main character would be happy for them yeah to do those kinds of actions you know and they wouldn't want to overstep their bounds and things like yeah. that if they're still quite you know old-fashioned and things <laughs> but 
Um, and But it would be sort of like take them a while to get used to it. But maybe eventually mm. after a good while. Goodness. Okay. So um, another anonymously asked question. Um, hi, will we be able to find out Unit Bravo's individual backstories without playing all four routes? I love each of them so much, but prefer to only play the route of my ally. But I'm still invested in all of their past stories. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, you will. Um, it won't be as in depth as if you're doing it in a romance. Mm. So if you're on their romance groups, you'll really know their backstories. You'll get it. You'll get the in depth stuff and things like this. Yeah. And it will be more of the focus of it. Um, but Wayhaven is about. It's not like um, where you romance someone and then all the other characters are forgotten. Drop off, yeah. You know, this is you're part of Unit Bravo. Um, the other characters are important to your main character. You know, you're like a found family. You know. Oh. <laughs> so um <laughs> you will you will be able to find out but mm. just not as in depth you might get yeah. like a, an idea of it and you'll find out about it um but you probably won't be have like proper in-depth discussions yeah. about it with them and things cool well we can't wait for that um so next one um again anonymously has asked um hello i just finished reading all of the books for the wayhaven chronicles in two days <laughs> um and i've been really enjoying the series so far i want more as do we all um anyways i'm starting my second playthrough and wondered if nat's heels counts towards her six foot height because damn she is a very tall queen uh no they don't if she wears heels which she will often do she doesn't have any qualms about wearing heels being tall which tall people shouldn't um they would count extra so if she wore <gasps> seven inch heels she, she she can wear pretty big heels oh and she can walk in them as well oh yeah even with those long limbs she could she can walk she, in them graceful yeah not quite as graceful as like um like lacedi mm. who is like i mean she's like graceful to the max Lissetti, yeah. but like nat can pull it off um which mm. you might get to see oh in a later book <gasps> um Teasy. but yeah the, the heels would add to her height so she would well be so tall <laughs> <laughs> um okay so next one um silver letters hello um has asked um hello mishka absolutely love your work with the wayhaven chronicles the oh, writing you. style and the scenarios and the characters are all just so good um, thank you for giving the world this baby. <laughs> um, anyway, I actually had a question. If it's not too spoilery and if it hadn't been answered, um, what are Unit Alpha members' tiers? Um, oh, God, I've got to remember off the top of my head now. Um, Lissedi is definitely tier X. Yeah. Um, I think Maka... I think Maka and Tane were the same. Um, and I think they're tier 8 if I remember, mm -hmm. and Tamiko, I think she's tier nine, um, but that might change as things go on, but from what I can remember, I have done character profiles for them, but obviously I haven't needed them too much at the moment, um, so yeah, Lissedi is definitely tier X for sure, I know that one, Maka and Tane tier eight, possibly Tane being tier seven, possibly, I think they were the same, um, Tamiko is tier nine. Very good. So, um the next one is uh no U has asked hi how are you how are you today very good thank you yeah you're good. yes I'm very well. um hope you're well uh so i have a question for you but i don't know if it's been asked before um why only a and n have a love triangle and the others don't uh okay this has been asked a few times um so i know people have heard this a lot but obviously we do get new fans all the time joining mm -hmm. the fandom so i want to just make sure that you know people are aware and things like this because i have a lot of asks on my tumblr and it takes a <laughs> lot to go through them to find even basic questions um i will try and get an faq up together which i'll put on the note section of the yes. youtube videos once i get it up together um the only reason that they have a love triangle is because the wayhaven chronicles was originally going to be a novel series and the love triangle was the romance route that was it there, mm -hmm. none of the other characters were romance interests yeah. But I could never decide on who I wanted the main character to end up with. I couldn't <laughs> decide between it. I couldn't decide. So um, I think that's a lot of our problem. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's why it never really got written. Because I just mm. couldn't decide. And I don't think you should start a love triangle unless you know yeah. who it is. Because it, it just otherwise is a bit of flaff. 
Um, and then I found interactive fiction and I was like, oh my God, I don't have to decide. I can write this. This is perfect. But the, the thing was, I had put so much work into the love triangle over, well, well over a decade of planning yeah. Whitehaven that I didn't want to give it up. So I put it into the interactive fiction because it was just so much work. I didn't want to give that up. Yeah. And that's the reason why there is only an, 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 a, an, an love, triangle. love triangle. So there you go. Yeah. There we go. Goodness, it's been a quite a labour of love, hasn't it? it Over really a decade has. of yeah. work. I thought it was just under a decade, and then I realised just how old I am. And then <laughs> yes, I realised it's let's like. Let's not yeah. delve into that territory. <laughs> um, so, um, this is our very last ask for this month um, on YouTube. So, Anonymous has asked. Um, a very important question, please. Did Tapisa ever get her chocolate? Uh, no, she hasn't yet. <gasps> I know. Oh, someone get that girl some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it, it hasn't come up yet. Um, uh, she's quite quiet and doesn't um, sort of interact with other people very much, except for the other people on the on the team that she's on. Uh, not like a field team. It's like um, like an in-house team. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but they're all quite busy all the time, so she doesn't get a chance to go Goodness. sort of do things. And um, definitely need to install some vending machines. Yeah, though it would have to be. They do actually some have tiny vending machines. I was going to say they do actually have different sized facilities throughout the agency. Oh well, that's to adorable. facilitate all of their different things because there are some very large, mm. like incredibly large, um, not like like seven foot maca. Like mm. we're talking like you know eight foot nine foot. Ogres, you know like well so the agency does have to accommodate for a very large range of supernaturals and they want to make sure everyone feels comfortable so they do have different well, facilities. that's very good yeah mm. but yeah somebody somebody get that girl some chocolate yeah <laughs> my fa- if you were going to have chocolate for the very first time what chocolate would you choose i like dark chocolate see i never yeah. used to like it it was always bitter but now when after going vegan it's like I had to have dark chocolate, really. <laughs> and now I love it. Oh, I love it. I think I would choose... I mean, it's got to be a Kit Kat. A Kit Kat. It is an, <laughs> it is an underrated chocolate bar. Yeah. It is so tasty. Penguin bars are nice, mine. Penguin bars. I didn't realise that the hole in the middle is so as you could dunk it and suck up, like, tea. What, pe- in penguins? Yeah. Oh, my God. They've got that little hollow bit in the middle, yeah. don't they? You're supposed to dunk it in your tea or your milk, probably milk. Probably. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to get very <laughs> sticky. Um, and suck it up through the middle. Oh, man. Oh, but then it would be all, like, soft. You don't like and bits, do I you? Don't like, no. I don't like crumbs in my no. tea. <laughs> Mishka gets very cross when I dunk a biscuit and a bit falls off. Oh, And then no. there's crumbs in the bottom and I'm like, oh, I just filter it with oh, my teeth. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. <laughs> um... Cool. Okay. Well, that concludes yeah. our monthly asks. Um, hopefully, you've all enjoyed the video. Um, we're hoping to post one every month. It may not be a Q and A every month, but it will definitely be some kind of video every month. Um, and I will pop any relevant stuff in the notes section, like I said. Um, and I also meant to mention at the beginning. Apologies if you can hear some building work going on. Um, we're having some stuff done to the house. Um, so that is why you might be able to hear some drilling or something. Um, so apologies for that if you can hear it if you do have any questions or asks yourself leave them in the comments yes and we'll try and get them yeah answered for next Scheduled time as in, well yeah. um but yeah but yeah so hopefully you have enjoyed that and we all hope that you have lovely days yeah, talk to you soon talk to you soon bye, bye.